Alright, welcome to this Visual Basic tutorial right now. Uh, we're going to learn how to simply disable a button if there's no text in the text box. This is very simple and it's very useful for avoiding runtime errors and also keeping users from entering you know, like nothing for the text box. So we're going to add a text box right there. That will work fine wherever you want it, I don't care. Now we're just going to add a command that's a little too small there. Let's get size. Size that to save space there. All right, just have to drag that out there. All right, now we are simply going to double click on text box, and you'll notice it says text one change. That means if somebody changes something in the text box, it's gonna do that event that you list below in between the subs. So here's what we're gonna do we're gonna do if text one dot text equals nothing then command one now uh, let me state here for a second that the things are called differently in Visual Basic 6 I'm using Visual Basic 6 only because it's faster and easier on my uh, CPU for this so uh, we're just gonna do this for now it works the same exact way the only thing that's gonna change is the names of the buttons and stuff so then we're going to add this else here. We want to disable it by hitting enable that false if there's nothing in the text box. And now if there is something in, we want to do command one dot and enable equals true. And if. And we're simply going to run this by clicking on that blue area. Now we just backspace our way out of here and boom, it's gone. Now. If you want a little bit further with this, let me switch back to code view here. We could easily do this enabled false. Alright. So I'm gonna view the code here. And we're just gonna change the form. That means form load. You can do uh, command one dot enable equals false. Now, that's only if you don't have text in the text box whenever your form starts. So, we're going to want to do this. Let's get rid of the text there. Run it. See, it's in there. Boom, 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 boom. That same thing. Well, uh, that that's it. That's that simple. And that can save you a lot of errors and stuff on your coding. And it could also keep users from entering nothing. 